welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a freddy krueger look for halloween so i'm gonna go ahead and take a brush and slowly start applying some of the latex on my face i'm gonna do it by sections So each time, I'm going to keep going back once it dries and adding more latex just to create layers. So now I'm going to go ahead with my Centafil dry extra dry skin daily hydration moisturizer and then i'm gonna go ahead with my james charles palette i'm just gonna prime my lids first i believe this was the mac so it was actually the pro Longwear paint pot eyeshadow from mac mm -hmm. so for my eyebrows i'm gonna go in with big eagle by tarte honestly one of the best eyebrow creams i've ever had so now i'm gonna go and start doing my shadow. I actually changed the palette, so I'm actually using the Tarte to End Bloom Clay Eyeshadow Palette. And at the moment, I'm using the shade Rebel. So for the lid eyeshadow, I did go into my James Charles palette. I just don't remember the shade I used. So now I'm going in with my do you foundation by Too Faced in the shade Golden Beige and just applying that onto all the little empty areas. So now I'm just waiting for the latex to dry so I can continue the process. So I went ahead and I started mixing blacks and reds and purples and I started peeling the latex a little bit and then here I'm going to try this new thing it says just add water um, it's supposed to give you like a bloody rocky effect so it's supposed to give you a scab effect but it was really hard to put on so I just went and applied it throughout the whole face and then I'm gonna go in with my scabby blood and start applying it into the holes that I made to give it a more vivid, alive burn. So I'm just going ahead and making more holes just so it looks more real more natural So I'm just going back and forth, adding scab blood into each hole I create, and I just keep creating more as long, just to make sure it looks good. Uh, I didn't want just a few, I kind of want it a lot throughout the face, and you have to be very careful because if you pulled it too much, you would have removed that section. So I had to go in with the scissors and just slowly start creating little slits and then like pulling it apart. So now I'm adding 
my final touches to the whole side and I am so happy with the results. I thought it wasn't gonna come together 